Hello all, my name is Pritom and you're watching Take With Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Hey everyone, if you are new in this channel, so this is my channel Tech With Pri and I post tech videos in every Monday and Thursday. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed the channel, just go ahead and click the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever I post a new video. So before starting the video guys, so if you are interested to buy the equipment that I use, so you can go ahead and check it out. So I have also posted the link here. So this is the mic I use from Boya and this is the tripod from Proton. Okay, so the link is there in the description. You can go ahead and check it out. All right. So in my last video, we have understood the concept of the shared folder. Like we have seen how we can create shared folder and provide different type of access permissions to the different users okay and also in the short video that we have I have just posted on Saturday uh, we have understood the GPO in a funny way so if you miss that funny video of three minutes uh, the link will be there in the description and also I'll post the link here in the in your screen now okay and also the shared folder video uh, the active directory shared folder video you can also find here uh, in the description the link will be there and also you can find uh, here in your screen again okay so let's see what we are going to learn in today's video okay so first we'll understand what is ou or organizational unit and this is very important to understand because uh, we are going to apply the group policy here in the organizational unit okay next we'll understand what is gpo and why we need that gpo right Next, we'll create organization unit or OU and apply group policy object in it. And finally, we'll test in our client system that if it is working or not. Okay, so we'll understand first, then we'll do it practically and then we'll test it. Okay, so it's interesting, right? So please do watch the full video to have the fun. And then what we are waiting for, let's get started. What is organizational unit or OU? So very simply, it is a container within AD or Active Directory that can hold users, groups and computers. So we have already understood what is group, right? A group is uh, again a container that can store user and computers both. But in organizational unit or OU, you can store the users, groups, computers, even you can store another organizational unit under the OU. So this is very simple uh, understanding. So it is the smallest unit where we can apply the GPO. So I'll just come to the GPO very quickly. So in organization unit or OU, you can apply the group policy and we'll see it in our practical today. And finally, an OU can contain another OU just I mentioned. So you can create organization unit and again, you can create a new OU there. So what is group policy? object or GPO. So it is a collection of group policy settings. So it means you are assigning permissions and in the way like how their system will perform, like what they can access. For an example, some of them may access the control panel, some of them uh, may not. So some of them can access a uh, taskbar, Windows taskbar, and they can uh, use the taskbar, control the taskbar. Some of them may not. So this is just some of the example of group policy that we can do. So you can understand by providing this, we can control certain system and certain users because not all the users are going to get same rights to the system, okay, in, a, in an organization, right? So if you're already working in an IT organization, you know that so many things has been blocked for you and so many things you can't control you can't change your desktop background also so that is also part of the group policy and we'll see in the next video how we can uh, you know deploy same desktop background for every users they won't be able to change the desktop background so this is how group policy works so it defines what permission certain user will have on the system next a group policy can be applied in local site domain then organizational unit so in four places we can use this so we know more about these things uh, when the video will go and more videos are coming for group policy itself okay so uh, now we'll go to the practical session quickly we are going to create an organization unit or ou and then we'll apply group policy on it all right so let's go so i'm in my server machine now let's quickly log in okay so i'm in active directory 
and uh, as you know we have the office group we have our account group all these things already have been discussed uh, in the last video so in office group we have members like harry james john robert so what i'm gonna do is that i'm going to create an organization unit quickly just cl right click on it new so let's give a name as uh, office ou and as you can see protect container from accidental deletion so whenever you will create an organizational unit on or an ou so this option will give you and you should uh, select this option because as you can understand an organizational unit is more important than groups and users because an ou can hold all these things so if by accidentally your ou has got deleted so there will be a problem right so you make sure this option is selected click on ok and here we go we have our first office ou so nothing is there right now so i'm gonna go to the uh, users so i'll move some users in the ou and we also can move the group let's put scene ross robert and harry to the office ou so i'm gonna right click on it and move office ou then click on ok all right now if i come to the office ou i can see uh, the four users are already there now if i just right click on it and if i try to delete the ou let's see see you do not have sufficient privilege to delete the office underscore ou or this uh, object is protected from accidental deletion yes that has happened and now i'm going to show you how you can uh, delete the ou by stopping the accidental deletion so make sure you go to the view section and this advanced features is on so this is turned on for me and then select the ou and right click on it go to the properties go to the object section and you can see there is a checkbox called protect object from accidental deletion so if you uncheck this and click on apply so you would be able to delete it so i'm not going to do it right now and let's turn off the advanced features option see we have less option right now <laughs> okay now this office ou we have these four users okay now let's apply the group policy so for applying group policy what we are going to do is that i'm going to go to the server manager so when we have installed the active directory domain service or the adds the group policy management has automatically installed with it okay if you can go here you can see group policy management just click on it and you are going to have a group policy management portal open here we go so now here you can see we have a forest our forest that is take with pre.com and then we have domain that is take with pre.com again and then we have some default domain policy that has already applied to our domain some default policies are already there then we have domain controller and we have the domain controller policy also and finally we have our office ou and no policy is attached here and here we are going to apply our first policy so here i'm going to choose on right click and create a gpo in this domain and link it here so i can create this gpo and the linking is very important so that the gpo can work so let's name it as so what i want is that i don't want people from office uh, ou can have access to the control panel okay so I, i'm gonna turn off the control panel for them let's see if it works or not so i'm gonna give the name turn off cp short for control panel i'm gonna click on okay all right now if i just open it you can see under office ou we have the group policy turn off cp is linked here okay if i just click on right click on it you can see the link enabled option is selected so if i just un unlink it the policy won't work whatever uh, i choose the policy or whatever policy i create so i'm going to click on edit here to edit the policy and again we'll have a new window this is the management editor window let's open it and here we have policies that can be applied either on computer or the users so here i'm gonna choose the user configuration and no worries guys in further videos uh, i'm gonna explain more about gpo so no worries this is just a basic introduction video so under user configuration administrative template 
so control panel here and you can see there are some options here that is available that we can choose so you can as you know guys you can always test it different options and apply to the organization unit or domain and you can always test it in your client machine okay and if you want to follow it the you know from the starting of this uh, tutorial series windows server 2016 all the steps are there how you can configure it so again if you want to watch those video the link will be there in the description and also you will find the whole playlist link uh, at the end of the video so make sure you watch the full video now you can see hide specified control panel items so you can see prohibit access to control panel and pc settings so for both control panel and pc settings won't be able to access by these ou so by those users who are under the organizational unit office ou right so I'm going to double click on it and just I need to do the enabled that's all so before applying this so I have already my machine is open client 3 and let me log in first and let me show you uh, that I can access before applying the GPO so I have logged as a scene Paul and the scene Paul as you remember is a member of the office OU so let's log in okay so i have logged in as scene pearl so just refresh it and let's see if i can access the control panel or not so here we go we can access the control panel okay let's turn off the control panel here just click on apply click on okay all right so now if i just go to the start menu and taskbar option under the administrative template policy uh, we can see there's an option called start menu and taskbar and we have a lot of things that we can do. Okay, let's do some funny things. Uh, let's uh, remove the battery meter. So you won't be able to see your battery percentage uh, from here. So I, I think that won't be a good idea. But let's see uh, if it works or not. Uh, let's quickly first go to the uh, scene machine. And you can see the battery is showing as 87%. But I don't want, so this option is visible here. So let's turn it off. Remove the battery serve meter. Just enable it and apply it. And click on OK. All right. So to enable the group policy right now, let's go to the command prompt from scenes machine. And we have to type a command called GP update. That is group policy update slash force. So you are telling your machine to update the policy from the server quickly forcefully okay because I have to test it right so you can see computer policy update has been completed successfully user policy update has completed successfully so let's close it but still you can see the battery icon is there so I have to sign out and sign in so let's right click on start menu shut down and sign out let's click on sign out all right now let's log in again into scenes account and let's see the status of the group policy now very quickly you can see the battery icon is missing from your taskbar right so the group policy has been successfully applied we are also going to see the control panel if it can be accessible or not so you can see the control panel but if i just open it so this operation has been cancelled due to restrictions in effort on this computer. Please contact your system administrator. So the administrator has turned on the policy and now you won't be able to access it. So all the members of this OU called Office OU won't be able to access the control panel and won't be able to see the battery icon. Okay. So this is how group policy works. And guys there are a number of group policies that are available and it is not possible to cover all of this so you can check uh, you can apply it and you can just test it so i hope you enjoy the video guys so if you like the video hit the like button if you have any question come to the comment section and please share this video with your friends and families so that it can reach out to many people thanks have a great time stay safe bye